There was uh, news a couple months ago that uh, in shipbuilding business, China has overtaken Korea by a mile. And uh, most of the new orders for major ships worldwide, the orders have come to China. Uh, it used to be Japan, and then Korea, and now it's China. What happened? What happened is that uh, the industrial base and the supply chain in shipbuilding in China has been unrivaled in all three sectors, passenger, military, and goods. The biggest ships and the most difficult ones to build are cruise ships, the big ones. For the military, it's the aircraft carrier, and for goods, it's container ships, but even more difficult than container ships is the LNG, liquefied natural gas ships, which are a quarter of a billion dollars a piece at least. What has happened is that China has been able to build aircraft carrier, has been able to build LNG ships, and now, finally, cruise ships for passengers. Dora Magic City, the first cruise ship built by China, were actually start its maiden voyage on January 1st, 2024. That's actually quite exciting. You'll be shipping out of Shanghai. I think uh, what this demonstrates is that the industrial supply chain, the industrial base of China has become so sophisticated that none of these formerly very, very difficult tasks are now difficult for China to complete. Aircraft carrier, we all know that China has built third aircraft carrier, many more are to come. So for the last two years, LNG ships are very, very much in demand, hot on in, in demand. China is building a number of them now, simultaneously, I think by order of uh, the Qatari LNG company, Qatari Energy. Qatari Energy has ordered, I think, over a hundred LNG ships and many of them are coming from China. So I think, uh, again, it demonstrates the industrial base in China is now very solid. It can do things that very few others can do. It's going to be very, very difficult for Korea and Japan to come back again in these sectors. Now, how did China produce this industrial supply chain? How did China build this industrial supply chain? This is truly incredible that they've been able to do it in just a few decades. There are some very, very good reasons for it. Complete supply chain, industrial supply chain, that's significant. But there are two other things which have also contributed to the development of technology and high-grade manufacturing in China. One is um, the sanctions. Given the sanctions by the U.S. and some other Western countries, China has been forced to develop technologies by themselves and to provide self-sufficiency in the manufacturing of industrial products. In a way, it's thankful to the sanctions. The sanctions actually produce the opposite results. The third is competition. Actually, for those of us who lived in China for a long time, we have seen how competitive the market is. The intense com competition which actually forces enhanced efficiency and forces better pricing on any, any product that you can imagine. That competition produces very, very tough entrepreneurs who won't go out to the market internationally, uh, very, very tough to beat.